Skyrocketing prices are affecting Horry County's Ride 3 program. And some county officials say it could drain funding before all the projects get completed. News 13's Melissa Myers joins us live right now with more on where some county leaders feel they stand on this issue. Melissa. Yeah, well, Bob, Megan, Councilman Johnny Bott says if costs were to go up way more than projected, then that could happen. But as of right now, he doesn't expect any of the Ride 3 projects to go unfunded. It's still a guessing game as to how we'll finally end up with Ride 3, but we feel like that we're in real good shape with it. With a total of 20 projects in $592 million, officials say there's a chance Ride 3 projects could carry into Ride 4. According to state law, any projects on Ride 3 that are incomplete or underfunded have to become number one and two on the Ride 4 list. Carolina Bay's North and Group 4 dirt roads, that's number 19 and 20 on the current project. So we need to be aware that that's got to be number one and number two on the list. But there's no way of knowing that until the end of Ride 3. Horry County Councilman Johnny Vaught is confident they won't run into that issue due to overestimating costs and underestimating revenue. And generally, we try to pad in, you know, increased costs because everything goes up all the time. We're not projecting that any of the projects will be unfunded in Ride 3. Because of inflation, COVID, and current costs of road projects like the Dirt Road Program, the county saw a 25 to 30 percent increase in materials, time, and labor. The market itself has just skyrocketed. There's just no other way to explain it. County officials say it could be difficult getting an equivalent amount of work done for Ride 4 given the market. The one good thing, revenue collections for Ride 4 are slightly higher than predicted, estimating 625 to 650 million dollars. The population of Warwick County continues to increase, and that increases spending and increases the uh, revenue collected on that ride on a penny. Now, the Ride 3 program ends April 30th, 2025, and coming up tonight at 6, the impact the market increase has on road, road improvement projects in our area. We're now live in Socastee, Melissa Myers, News 13.